Hi, my name is Beth and I'm the sewing pattern designer and blogger at Sew DIY. Today's video is my monthly June sewing vlog. Every month I give a little recap on what's been happening on the blog, what I've been sewing, and sometimes a little sneak peek into what's happening behind the scenes at Sew DIY. So at the end of May, I released two new patterns. I'll put a link to the video to learn all about that. They're pretty awesome patterns for staying at home, and they're both size inclusive and gender neutral. The first one is the Tossy Robe and Jacket. It's a draft-it-yourself pattern. So instead of getting the traditional pattern pieces that you have to print out, the pattern will teach you how to draft it for your custom size and preferences. The second pattern is for quilted slippers, and those come in a skimmer style and a booty style, and it goes from a US women's size five up to a men's US size 14. So it's really size inclusive, which I really love as a woman who wears bigger size shoes and can't always find slippers and shoes in the stores. I really wanted this pattern to be very size inclusive. To support the patterns, I've been working on the sew alongs that are on the blog. Most of my patterns have a sew along and you can find it just by going to sewdiy.com. And then up at the top of the website, there's a little tab for sew along and it'll drop down and you can check out all the different sew alongs for the different patterns. There's a lot of really helpful information in there. So if you buy any of the patterns, make sure to check those out. So this month I've been doing a little bit on the Tossy robe and jacket and a little bit on the slippers. So, so far I've done a ready to wear inspiration post for the Tossy robe and jacket. And that post is really intended to give you some inspiration and ideas for fabric that you can use and different proportions and stylings that you can do for the Tossy robe and jacket. I've also done blog posts with recommended fabrics and supplies for both the Tossy robe and the quilted slippers. I did a new video on how to sew a Hong Kong finish. I also did a post that's specifically about the Tossy robe and jacket and how to do a Hong Kong finish and a French seam for that pattern and reduce the bulk at the underarm seam. Then there's a blog post with tips for designing your Tossy robe and jacket. Just gives you some ideas about how to think about the different proportions that you would really like to create when you're designing your own jacket. Then last week here on YouTube, I did a video with how to add piping to a seam. And then yesterday on the blog, I followed up with some specifics about how to add piping to your Tossy robe to get that really classic robe I will put links to all those blog posts down in the show notes, so make sure to check them out. So this month, I feel like I haven't done a lot of sewing. Um, there have been so many blog posts that I wanna do and share that I've been spending a lot more time on the computer. But I did make this robe, and this one you might recognize from yesterday's blog post. This is a cotton gingham fabric, and I added piping to the front band the sleeve cuffs, and the pockets. So yesterday's blog post goes over how to do those three piping applications. Um, and this robe is gonna be going to my dad as a slightly belated Father's Day gift. The other thing I've been working on, which I think I might've mentioned last week, is the Slab Town Backpack by Clum House. So they very kindly gifted me this kit and I made their Maywood tote last year. So I really like their patterns and this is going to be the backpack. It's currently in progress. Um, they're really fun to sew because it's different than your normal sewing project. You have a lot of hardware and you get to hammer a bunch of stuff and it just looks really professional. Um, like I don't think you'd ever guess that you made it at home. I still have like two to three quilts that are in process of making that I haven't worked on at all this month. Um, I was like really growing strong on them for a while and really working on my 
improvisational quilting e-course, but with releasing the tossy robe and the quilted slippers, those just kind of fell out of play and they've been sitting by the side, but I'm really hoping to get back into it and continue on that e-course because I'm really excited about it and I want to share it with all of you. I'm also working on a new pattern. It's very summer appropriate and I've been drafting and muslining and starting on the instructions um, and hopefully sometime in July I'll get it out to testers. Um, I It's clothing that I wear all the time and like especially in summer so I'm excited to get it out too. So I think that's it for the sewing and the blog things this month. I also wanted to mention that on the blog, I have a statement about Black Lives Matter. I absolutely support the Black Lives Matter movement and I believe that the protests and everything that's happening is really important for moving this country forward um, and just having a more equitable society for all people. Going forward, I'm going to be sharing resources and inspiration in my weekly newsletter. If you're already signed up for the newsletter, you might have noticed that change. And I'm really just looking for a way that I can share things with all of you lovely people that you maybe normally wouldn't be seeing and amplifying some voices and artists who are different from me. This is something that's really important to me and I absolutely recognize my complicity in the structure of the society and my immense white privilege. So I am doing what I can to share resources and share monetarily when I can and vote and educate myself and I encourage all of you to register to vote, get involved in local politics because that's where a lot of really impactful changes can be made. I hope that you're all doing well and staying safe and staying healthy. Remember to wear your masks. The pandemic is far from over. So protect yourselves, protect other people and wear your mask. I'll be sharing a new vlog at the end of July, but in the meantime, I'll be sharing a new tutorial or a sew along or tip about once a week. So if you haven't already, I would be so honored if you hit the little subscribe button down below and then hit the bell to be notified every time I release a new video. Happy sewing.